Hi guys, Susanna Easdale here. Um, I'm just going to be uh, filming a tutorial on some tags. Um, so I've got these tags that I've made up with the, um, some dies. I'll just put it in my little thing. Um, my, what do you call it? They're the, what do they call the little cricket or for the, the dies. So I'll just cut a couple of these up. Um, I want to make a sewing theme one and a tea one because I've got a tea journal that I want to put it in and I'm planning to do a sewing theme one. So um, you mean you can cut them up, but it's because I had these and I'll just use some cardstock. So um, I don't know how long this is going to be. We'll just play it by ear and and see how we go it might be a two-parter so um yeah we'll just see how we go okay so i'll just get maybe little bits and pieces out i have to stop along the way and um because i'm going to do a bit of sewing and all that kind of stuff so i thought i'll i want to do a bit of a vintage style um i'll use this used up one whole one whole page which is got enough and then had, had enough for a tiny little tag so I'll just make up two tags for this tutorial and then make up more a little bit later on so put that away gotta get myself set up here so I know that I really liked this and I wanted to use that for my um my T1 so I'll cut that up. Oh. So how are all you guys going? Hope you're you're doing okay out there in the journal world and the arty world. They've got so many nice little um, pictures in these old magazines so got that one and I thought since it's hmm, I might use a bit of the page for the background as well I think can't go past old old writing okay so that will be for my T1. Shortcake and plan. Oh, you don't know. And I really like that. So I'm going to pinch that. And I think I saw some pattern. Pattern here somewhere. Don't you just love the old magazines? Um, Pattern paper. I think this bit here. I think I'll have a look in here. Here we go. That's what I was after. Okay, just have a quick sticky. I love the old stuff. Oh, I see that might work. Please read instructions before cutting. Sorry, better not cut off your little feet. Might want to use her later on. Now, I think that's about it from that. Uh, okay, put that away for now. And this one. May not get to use all the bits and pieces, but you know, um, probably that bit there. Make a couple of sewing ones. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. And I've also got 
these are the little remnant bits of that old quilt so I thought I thought I'd like to stick some of that on there that'd be really nice okay so that's for my sewing themed ones one okay so I'll do one thing at a time eh I'm gonna put that we just love the old vintage paper so pretty okay better put this underneath so I don't make a big mess so we'll start with Maybe um, just glue in a bit of glue this on. Glue stick is as good as any. Now pick your side. I think I like. Put it on as we go. And then cut cut along. Okay. Have it at the background of that one. Now, I really would like maybe a little bit of lace. Now I've got my little box of buttons and I thought I'm going to get some vintage buttons. How about a little bit of that on there so I'm gonna just at the moment figuring out what it is I want to do sounds like it's raining out there do as many colors in here as I can that on there and then I'm going to sew around the outside no right or wrong <laughs> yeah it does need to be a bit straight up though OCD coming out yep. so It'll go on there like this, and maybe tuck that underneath. And then a few, few little buttons. Have a look. Hey, okay. what do we got? Um, use that one for the next one, I think. Um, needing to be fairly flat, you said big. I've got buttons everywhere, and I picked the one with the mess. Look at the size of that. Oh, that's nice. It's got a bit of a shimmer to that one. Um, how to make a mess. Yes, a little one. Need some little ones. Grab this whop and grab it. Like this colour. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Um, got some teeny weeny ones in here. I might be able to use them for the size of them. They're so cute. Now. 
these are that's the trouble I'm so used to making um, quilts and whatnot you can't be too 3d with these things hmm thinking fingers I really do like that one but I don't know whether it's going to be too big so here we go now um, we've also got look at these it's so cute quilting but they're going to go on the actual journal itself little, little some pieces okay so what we'll probably do is a bit of distressing need something on the top there A big mess. Look at that. That is so pretty. Thinking of putting that on the top. Making that look like so pretty. Now, I've got two of them. This will be for the T one, and that'll be for that one. So, I am going to get a bit of that. I've got some old vintage music paper. I'm going to grab some of that and put that on there, I think. And I might tear that one. And the, the treble clip. Put that on there. So I'm Music hasn't really got much to do with sewing, but doesn't matter. Okay, it's all good. It needs to be a little bit brown, I think. Even though it is vintage, it's looking a bit too new. There we go. Okay, might save that one for the other one. So, might stick this down with a tiny bit of glue. This is craft glue, a bit like your version of Fabri-Tac, I think. What do you call it? Just put that down there. Oops. I want to glue that down a little bit too. Make a big mess. Hope that's in in shot. Sorry if it's not. Okie dokie. It's going to be very tactile. Okay. That's enough for that one. I will um, yeah. do another one and then I'll get the machine out and sew the both of them. So, got them ready. So, what I'm going to do with the um, 
Where did they go? Uh, only a, a little amount of stuff and I managed to make a big mess. I'm after all the um, tea stuff. What the heck is that? Okay. Well, I might grab the sewing machine, so I'll put this on pause for now. And I'll be back soon. I'm back. I found all the tea stuff. So what I'll do first before I do anything, I will um, cover that with, it's not this one, I think it is that one. Yep, it is. Just cover that with um, some of that. And we'll cut that out later. Um, I might put, do it on that side because this has got a bit of a recipe on there. Okay. Okie dokie. Probably won't need all of that. Of fun making all these little bits and pieces to stick in your journals. I might, see, I might stick that up a little higher and have it there because I'd like to see the ingredients. And something I'll stick that on there. No worries. Okay, place not want not. That's ready for the next one. Now I wanted to have a little bit of a doily on there. I thought that would be really nice, and then we'll stick that there. So maybe. Troubles with the doilies is see through. They're a lot harder to put on. Okay. I'll just do a little bit of a glue. Get glue everywhere. Easier to put it on there than it is to put it on the doily. Ugh. Again, place not one that. Shove that on there. This one might probably turn out to be really good. You just never know. Now, I'm done there like this. And stick that in the middle there. Good old glue stick, eh? Side a little bit. Now I wanted something a little pretty on there because I'm going to be using this. So I want to incorporate a little bit of pink. And this is from Daphne's diary. So Necessary bits later. That's the beauty of collage. Just go with you. Now, 
but this is going to be a bit long. I can make it into a two-parter. Do I put the Lipton's one on there? Or do I put... off so we can see where we're up to all the little bits okay I might stick that one on leaning towards that one. Lipton's are being around for a while, but I suppose so actively. There we go. Now. Um, what else? What else do you think, hey? I'm sure you've all got a little stash somewhere with all your little bits and pieces it's always nice to make your own little tags and bits and pieces fruit cake and flan now i might make that use that for the next one can't use it all on the same one now this this will do a bit of i found two this is from daphne's diary isn't that gorgeous i'm gonna be using that supposed to use it on the last one what I might do put a beautiful bit of washi vintage style cube right oh goodness washi stick that up there like that oh get it right Susan now Okay. Okay. Cut that off. Beauty of this will go with both tags. Look at that. The um the sewing one or the tea one. Now trim these and get out the old trusty dusty. Distressed ink or distress oxide, whatever you got. Where is my little? There we go. And then I'm going to hop on the sewing machine. So I'll turn this off for a bit and then sew around it. I think. Might even. Bit of a bit of a, a brownie. Okay, bring it all in. Brings out the embossing of the the doily a little bit. Not that you can see much left of the doily now that I've got everything all over the top. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Doki. Well, I'll be back. And before I do that, I might even stick that on and I'll sew that down. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. I'll be back. <laughs> 